Hello everyone. Today we're going to be setting up our Cardano nodes as system services. Uh, why are we doing that? Well, um, there are basically two or three main reasons we want to do that. Um, we can start with the, the first one as the, the reboot uh, functionality. So in general with system services we can um, uh, specify the behavior uh, very precisely so we can you know tell it when, when to restart in which cases and stuff like that uh, so uh, the main thing is that it, the service restarts and the cardano node restarts if a server has to reboot so when we reboot the server the cardano node automatically starts um, other than that, if we set it up as a system service, uh, the system service uh, provides uh, well-logged uh, data that if anything goes wrong, we can inspect the logs then and um, you know that can help us figure out what the issue was or still is and uh, you know, uh, help us fix that. And uh, the third, is, uh, third thing is that uh, we can not that it's very important, but we can uh, specify like resource resource control for a, a service, so we can limit how much it uh, you know it's allowed uh, to use and stuff like that. We don't really want to do that uh, for our Cardano node because you know uh, our servers are intended to run Cardano node and, and that's it, not not much else. Uh, so there's no no point really at the moment to limit the resources for it uh, but you know just that's that's the sort of uh, thing you can do with uh, system services so just so you know now you might think uh, those uh, two uh, benefits the restarting the node on reboot and uh, having uh, good logs uh, are the main benefits uh, of, of this setup and they might be but uh, let's think for a moment about the indirect implications of this setup uh, what first comes to mind is that you can finally go to sleep uh, with uh, you know a calm mind and uh, you don't have to worry about having uh, nightmares uh, in the night about your uh, servers uh, dying and uh, rebooting without restarting cardano node uh, no more waking up in sweat, uh, running to your servers, uh, thinking you missed a block uh, and making sure that everything uh, runs fine. So with that, uh, obviously, you will get a better night's sleep. Um, in the morning, you will be uh, less tired, less stressed, well rested, uh, more ener energetic, more productive. Of course, uh, all of these things will lead to you becoming uh, more successful and with that uh, more attractive. So um, if you really think about it, uh, you, you can see that the benefits of setting up your Cardano node as a system service um, go far beyond the uh, initial uh, and intended function of, uh, you know, just having it start at at the reboot so um i highly recommend you 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 set it up this way now that we know why we are doing this uh let's get to it so uh, the first thing is that uh we need to create a service to to run our cardano node and we need to set it up to restart uh if there's a reboot and in case of relays I also want them to restart every 12 hours to apply the updated topology so uh, another thing to think about is the live view uh, we can uh, run the node as um, in a in a mul uh, multiplexer session uh, that will give us the live view which is it's nice to have uh, you know it's uh, nothing to throw away but uh, I mean you can throw it away in favor of uh, another monitoring tool like Grafana which actually has more more detail um, so I'm going to show you how to set it up as uh, both um, in a in a 
multiplex session and just a node running in the background without the live view, but uh, with monitoring in, in Grafana. I'm not going to show you the monitoring setup that's covered in another video from before, but I'm going to show you that it works. Um, right, so I have uh, some services uh, prepared uh, here on my GitHub, uh, one for the producer and one for called CNode Restart Service that, uh, that I will use for my relays. So you can use this as well if you want, um, but basically this uh, CNode Restart Service is going to uh, uh, pretty much just run our uh, node restart script and uh, it's going to run it uh, every uh, number, uh, well, it's going to restart it after the number of seconds we specify here. Uh, so here I will specify my, my 12 hours that I want. So if I go to my uh, relay, I can go to, so the, the um, system <laughs> services folder, so that will be uh, etc system d system uh, that's on uh, ubuntu uh, i don't know about other systems really it's probably similar but maybe a little bit different so if i look at here you know i have uh, all, all the services um, that are there like prometheus and stuff and now here i want to uh, create a, a new service for the uh, see node restart so I can uh, I can uh, get this with uh, wget if I do if I take the raw link I can do uh, get uh, I think I can just paste it in uh, so if I ls here I see the um, uh, restart service here now so that uh, restart. so we have the cnode restart service and let's inspect it so it's what we showed uh, before now here i just put in um i intended it to be a comment i'm not sure how comments work in, in service files actually but in any case you know you want to remove it and you don't want it to restart every 15 seconds this is just for illustration purposes so, uh, but let's leave it at 15 seconds so that uh, we know that it works. And uh, make sure that this exec start uh, specifies the path to what you want to start uh, correctly. So in my case, I want to run the CNode restart, which is a, a script from my previous video. And, uh, that's the one that kills Cardano node and uh, kills the multiplexer session and then opens a new session and starts a node in that session. So if I um, check my session, there's a node running here. And um, yeah, we can just uh, leave it running and we'll use the service now to, to restart. Uh, so I'm going to do system ctl start c node okay i need to do the daemon reload first and now uh, so we need to do the daemon reload as uh, if we change some of the system files we need to reload it if, to apply changes and now we can start the c node restart service and uh, remember we set it up to restart every 15 seconds uh, so now to restart it uh, it opened uh, the session is called relay as before so it closed the first one and opened a new one and now it's going to uh, kill it again because there we go because uh, it restarted the script and um, it's going to create a new session and restart the node again in that session. So there we go. We know that the script works. Uh, now what we want to do is, well, the script, the service. Um, 
now what we want to do is uh, go back to that service so i'm gonna do it from here system d system and we called it c node restart service and i want to change this uh, runtime max second so i want to i want it to run every um 12 hours so that's going to be you know you can calculate it 60 seconds in a minute 60 minutes per hour 6 times 60 times 12 43,200 uh, and uh, that will restart it uh, every 12 hours so I'm going to save this and I'm going to reload uh, reload the daemon again and um, that's about it um, now uh, it's not uh, see the the node is uh, going beyond uh, the first uh, 15 seconds so it's not restarting it anymore and uh, what's left to do is system CTL enable C node restart uh, th this enable uh, command uh, will set it up to uh, start this service uh, once the server is rebooted. So uh, with that, uh, that's pretty much the last thing to check on uh, the relay. So I'm just going to reboot it now and then uh, uh, log back uh, in and uh, check that the node is uh, as it should be running. There we go, it's rebooted and I'm back in. So um, if I check, you know, if there's a previous session, there's gonna be the node and uh, it's running. So everything works. Um, that's uh, that's it for the, the first case of the relay with the live view here. And now we can uh, move on to uh, uh, setting up the producer, which we don't want to restart every 12 hours. Um, and uh, setting it up uh, without the multiplex. So I logged into one of the producers uh, where I have a, a session running and um, I'm going to cancel this node and um, kill the session uh, kill the session Time it. okay um, so now we want to set up the service here uh, and we're not going to use any uh, tmux sessions so what I'm going to use is this uh, this script called uh, CNode producer here that's um, just going to start the node with the pool uh, parameters and uh, that's it no no uh, tmux sessions or anything like that so I'll go back to uh, to the system services folder and uh, now I'm going to get the uh, service I put on my GitHub. Uh, so it's similar to the relay one, but it doesn't have any like restart after uh, a certain amount of seconds. It just has restart on failure uh, and the type is simple and the, the script is different. Uh, now there's this thing, uh, start limit interval seconds. That's basically uh, by default, uh, a system service, if it fails to start, uh, I don't know, I think like five times in this number of seconds, which is default 10, I think, uh, then it's going to be stopped, it's, it's not going to try to run it again. So if uh, I set this to zero, then it's just going to keep trying until it works. Um, so that's that, I can copy that link here and do a vget wget this script and if i ls and grab the 
there we go. Um, yeah, so th that's it. We can start this uh, service and it's going to run the node in the background and not in a TMUX session. Um, let's see, so system CTL uh, name, name and reload first, then system CTL, we can enable it. Sino cluster, service, and we can start it as well. So if we check the status, uh, system CTL status C node producer, we we'll see that it's uh, running. So that's fine. Uh, and if we do htop and if we do f4 filter for Cardano, we'll see that we have the Cardano process running. Um, um, not that we need to, but uh, we. We, we don't have a TMX session, we didn't open it, it's just running in the background. And uh, that's it. So uh, the Cardano node is running uh, and that's okay, we just don't have the live view. Uh, what we want to test is that it runs um, after uh, rebooting. So I'm gonna reboot this. And uh, while that's rebooting, we can just go to the Grafana and we'll see that the, uh, so normally I have five here. This is the Eden uh, C node. There's Kobe C node here, which is now disconnected. And now the cast periods have gone away uh, because the server rebooted. So let me just um, log back in once it's ready. There we go. And um, if I do, so there's no session to check, but if I do htop and uh, filter for Cardano again, uh, I will see that uh, the node is running and it started um, uh, with, with the reboot. So uh, that's that, we can quit that uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, if I go back to my Grafana, I will see that uh, the Kobe uh, C node is back on the map and it's connected to three peers, my relays. Uh, the cast peers are showing again, so Grafana is receiving all the data from the node that it needs uh, uh, without the uh, live view. So there you go. Uh, that's how you set up a system service. Um, in general, that's how you set up a system service, you know, and uh, in this case with Cardano node. Uh, but yeah, hopefully uh, I have shown you something useful here and uh, you can enjoy the, the benefits of uh, a good night's sleep after this. So uh, until next time, uh, all the best and uh, good luck with uh, everything.